All right, guys, I'm going to be quoting Eddie Hearn. We are probably about two weeks away from a decision on AJ's next fight. September has been marked for the return, and all focus remains on Deontay Wilder. AJ and his team believe that after everything that's been built here, the UK should be the home of this historic undisputed bout, and conversations continue with the Wilder camp. Pavekian is the likely choice if Wilder refuses to travel. Pavekian is the WBA mandatory, so both fights are extremely dangerous. A Wilder fight in the U.S. stands Joshua's most lucrative option, but he is willing to accept a lesser payday for home advantage. Um, and then it goes on to say that if the fight between Wilder and Joshua doesn't get made, Wilder will most likely fight Dominic Brazil. Now, it's basically just confirming what I've been saying for the past month. I said months ago, uh, matter of fact, I said last year that Deontay Wilder's next opponent after he gets past uh, Luis Ortiz would be Dominic Brazil. Um, I said, like I said, I said, matter of fact, weeks ago, I made a prediction saying I'm going to make this prediction because I know that Deontay Wilder will not fight Anthony Joshua next and he's going to fight Dominic Brazil next. So that's why I made it a prediction like literally four weeks ago saying, telling you my prediction on what I think the outcome of Dominic Brazil and Wilder would be because I know that that fight's going to be made next. Um, and I haven't been... Uh, looking at anything of Eddie Hearn has been saying for the past literally week but uh you know the past seven days but it seems to be the same thing just <laughs> him trying to get Deontay Wilder to fight in the UK and him trying to uh yeah and him basically saying that if Wilder doesn't fight in the UK uh that he'll fight Pavekian next and B Brazil will fight Wilder next like, I, like I've been saying for months now, these guys are not going to fight anytime soon. Deontay Wilder and uh, Anthony Joshua will not be fighting anytime soon. Stop listening to all these other channels telling you they're going to be fighting this year. It's not going to happen. Like, look at my channel. I've been saying you guys forever. I know how boxing works. I've been following it long enough to know that these guys are just playing with you guys. They're playing with you guys. They're not going to fight next. Okay? This fight will not be made. I hate to be that guy, but it's the truth. This fight's not going to be made next. We're not going to see Wilder versus Joshua next. This fight's not going to be made. It's just, and that's why I've been telling you guys for months. Wilder will fight Dominic Brazil and easily beat him and knock him out round six. And uh, Joshua will fight Pavekian. So. That's why I haven't really been even caring about making videos about especially Wilder or Eddie Hearn or, you know, Joshua. Because I already know what's going to happen next. I know that these guys are going to fight uh, other opponents, Pavekian and Brazil. So what's the point of making all these, you know, videos telling you what the promoter says or what this guy says or what that guy says or what this guy says? You got all these channels making these videos telling you what the promoter says. But... We already know that that's, they're not going to fight next. So that's why I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Because what's the point of making 20 videos telling you what Eddie Hearn said when you know they're not going to fight regardless. So, like I said, it's going to be easy money for Joshua and Wilder because they're both better than their opponents. They're both better than Pavekian will get destroyed by AJ. Pavekian is already past his prime. He's off the juice. And AJ is twice the size of him. And he's going to knock him out with an uppercut. Dominic Brazil is an is a very you know limited fighter, slow, uh, no defense. He will walk right into a right hand and it'll be over. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> this is easy money. Uh, and as far as you know, Eddie Hearn saying that Wilder should be fighting on uh, in the UK, like I said, um, I don't care where this fight happens, but you know every great fighter should at one point come to America. I don't like the idea that AJ is trying to fight his whole career in the United Kingdom. At least fight, you know, sometimes in the, in the United States. You know, there's nothing wrong with fighting in the United States. You don't have to spend your whole career fighting in the UK. Many great UK fighters who were massive just like him chose to fight in the US. So he should do the same. He should pay homage like those guys and do what they did. That's all I'm saying. But like I said, either way, I don't care where this fight takes place. 
Uh, it's love to say, guys.